Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we're going to talk about Bungie's announcement with Marathon, what that means, the tidbits of information that they gave us in the blog post. We're going to watch the video, the teaser trailer as well, and kind of break that down, give you my thoughts and opinions on that, because I have a lot of thoughts and opinions. If you don't know me, Bungie games have been pretty much my content creation career from Destiny and Halo and I guess maybe now with Marathon depending on how good it is and if uh, I, I won't lie. I am not the biggest extraction shooter person. I never played Tarkov or anything like that, but just because it's Bungie and I love the original Marathon lore and games, I'm extremely interested to see how this will play out. So first off, we're going to go through the, the blog post and then we'll watch the video. Now, if you want to stay up to date with Marathon content, I absolutely am going to cover this game at least until it releases and see if it's a major flop or if it's a major hit. So if you want more Marathon content, if you want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I also do like Halo stuff, so that'll be sprinkled in there. But the more Marathon info we get, um, you know, whether it be leaks or anything like that, I, I definitely plan to create content around it. So let's get into the blog post. Bungie describes Marathon as a sci-fi PvP extraction shooter. Like I said, think about Tarkov. They say that Marathon will find players engaging one another as cybernetic mercenaries known as runners, exploring a lost colony, searching for fame, riches, and infamy. Now on this blog post, it says that Marathon is currently in development for PlayStation 5 and PC with full crossplay and cross save. But I believe that I've seen Xbox included as well, which I can't believe that if they want to make the most money possible, obviously you're just going to release it on all the consoles. Now this blog post, they talked to the Marathon General Manager Scott Taylor and the Game Director Chris Barrett. If you've played Destiny and stuff, you definitely know those names. And they just kind of talk about, you know, the future of Marathon, what we can kind of look at. And I think that they kind of tease the release date a little bit, nothing concrete. And then I'll go over my reasons why I think that the release date is going to be a lot sooner than we may think. Now, Scott Taylor says that, you know, there's still a long way to go before release. It's fantastic to be able to open up even just a little and share what we've been working on. They talk about how they wanted to pay homage to the original Marathon games, but this, this is not a sequel. This is their own vision for Marathon, and it's something completely new. They also say that it's, it, it feels like a Bungie game, which is very important, I think, to a lot of people. So the person asks them what that means. So how, do, how does it feel like a Bungie game? And they say that it has the incredible feel of the weapons to the world building, the lore, immersion, and opportunities for adventure. They say that one of the areas that's a huge focus for them is the player-based storytelling. Now, if you know anything about the original Marathon games, they were single-player games that had all this lore and story told through terminals, but it's going to be completely different in this game. They want the players to affect the story of the world through choices and action. Now, we've heard that before in other games, and I'm not sure any of them have actually lived up to the hype and expectation that people had with that, but it really does feel like Bungie is kind of doubling down on what that means. They say that Marathon is designed from the start as a PvP-focused game, which if you've played Destiny, you've kind of known for a long time that it's been second fiddle to the PvE side of things. And even with Halo, um, you know, multiplayer was super important, but at one point they weren't even going to launch Combat Evolved with multiplayer. So it's pretty crazy to see how that's evolved, and this is a PvP-focused game now from Bungie. But... That means that there's no single player campaign, so instead they're going to create opportunities for player driven stories to unfold in that world. They want to build this, this evolving world with players creating their own journey, whether that's, you know, fighting a team looking for the same loot or a last second extraction, but they want to go deeper than that. They even provide an example that a crew discovers a previously undiscovered artifact that, when it's activated, just opens up a brand new area of the map for all players to explore. They also talk about how the actions of players can have ramifications for the world with each unfolding season, so obviously we're gonna, it's going to be a seasonal model kind of thing. The interviewer then asked about Marathon being currently in development and do they have a timeline for more information about the game. Scott Taylor says there's still a lot of work to do before launch, before they're ready to talk about anything, but that they're happy to announce it and it makes it a little bit easier to hire people. He then says that I know fans are interested in learning more about Marathon. Believe me, we can't wait to show you more. And while I can't give a timeline on when that info will be coming, 
What I can say is this, the next time you hear from us about Marathon, we'll be able to show you the gameplay and we will be that much closer to launch. So I know I, I kind of teased earlier about the launch window of this and I think with Destiny wrapping up this year with the final shape, I would not be surprised in the slightest if, you know, we get a 2024 release date. I think that they've been working on this for a long time. Um, it's amazing that it's been as under wraps as it has been. There have been a few leaks here and there, but I think that this is just the wording from that makes me feel like the next time we're going to be close to launch. We're going to show you gameplay. Now, this trailer that we're going to watch is CGI. It looks great. I won't lie. It doesn't really give me huge marathon vibes. Um, judging, you know, like from the old games, I really feel like there was a grim dark aspect to that sci-fi world. And this is way more cyberpunk but it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna let the trailer play. I might provide some commentary, but I feel like there's so much hidden within this trailer that it's hard to really pick anything out. Um, I also feel like because it's CGI generated, it's not like actual gameplay, that it's supposed to be the super stylistic, um, very aesthetically pleasing video. And I think that they've really accomplished, you know, that side of things. Like I look at this and it's just, it. I am already intrigued as to what this world is. Now, I know a lot of people haven't played Marathon in the past. There's a lot of callbacks in this video about uh, certain factions, I guess, within Marathon. That's one of the compilers. And it's cool because in Destiny 2, they had like a, uh, uh, I forget which anniversary, was it 30th anniversary? Where they had some Marathon armor and weapons come into the game, and that was pretty cool. So you kind of get to see what, I guess, it's not really gameplay it looks like, but clearly there's like somebody, I guess, sniping and stuff, a uh, little cyborg looking android person taking something out of a body. And then it just starts zooming out and you see the planet and stuff. And then like the ship going through whatever moon that is. So it's not a lot of information to take in. But there's a lot of just small pieces of what I feel like is lore and stuff. There's also been some ARG stuff, it looks like. Uh, the Marathon Twitter account follows another account that's like, I feel like something that needs to be unlocked or figured out. And the websites and stuff kind of lead to these ARG moments. And if you know anything about Bungie, man, they, they kill it on that side of things. And if those get, you know, if something is discovered or new stuff is unlocked by people figuring that stuff out, I will absolutely make videos on that, like I said before. So make sure you subscribe. But that's going to do it for the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for this. Is this going to be the next big thing out there? Uh, I know we talk about Battle Royales a lot, uh, especially with like Halo and have they missed that train and extraction shooters being the new it game kind of mode coming out so i'm excited to see what we're gonna we're gonna get with marathon i do hope that it's good i i honestly do hope that so we'll see what happens but that's gonna do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace